Okay, so what's that? Well, uh, here's that mesa cabinet. I'm taking those off with the uh, old manuel. I knocked the sun bitch there. Anyway, this is that mesa 4x12 you've seen. Okay, so what we're gonna do, pop this bad boy loose, pull these four screws, and I don't think it's gonna be much to it. I think I can just pull, you know, pop this, pull the cabinet back off. This is supposed to have cream back speakers in it. I do not know what speakers are in it. The issue that we have with it is that uh, uh, the speakers on this, yes, on this side, the two speakers on this side are rattling on something. They're either touching the grill cloth or touching uh, the wood baffle. They're touch, touching something, right? So anyway, they're, they're rattling. So anytime you play a bass note, you hear that. It's not a pretty sound. Damn, these are cranked down fucking hard. Not necessary. You can see where it split the plastic there. A little, little bit too much. A little bit too much. Boy, that would have been bad. Okay. Now then. Nice and easy. Uh, Celestian G12T75s. I know it's kind of fucking hard to see, isn't it? Well, shit the bed, Fred. How about that for a fucking issue right off the fucking bat? Okay, I'm just gonna leave that how it was so we can see. We're gonna pop this speaker out right y'all. This was the loudest one. The one that was making the most noise. So we're gonna pop that one out. Hell, G12, 75s are pretty fucking good speakers. I don't think it's the speaker. I think it is an actual issue with that shit. We'll find out in just a moment. Okay, now then. Hell, the speaker looks like it's in fucking fantastic shape. It's not froze up, is it? No. It's not frozen up. <clears throat> speaker's in fucking fantastic shape. And, uh, to be honest, it has more than plenty of fucking room to move. I wonder if it's because, uh, because those, those screws were not tight. Maybe it, maybe it is because of that. Can I move the speaker at all? Huh. Something has just a fucking hellacious rattle. It's not scratchy, nothing. None of these are, none of these have any issue. None that I can see. I mean they look basically look brand new. Okay, so we're back. Now, after our brief commercial break. <clears throat> what we have here is uh we're putting speakers back in, okay? See, I've got washers on each one of the uh, screws that go on there. Make sure that, that all the screws are tight. And what we're going to use for a thread lock is just a tiny touch of this because it doesn't bond the metal worth of shit. What it's going to do is it's going to keep the screws in there while this thing's vibrating and shit like that. This is insurance, right? So I don't have to worry about it. This process will never have to be done again. <clears throat> ah. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to put the other three speakers in. <clears throat> Same damn way that we're doing it right now, and then uh, we're gonna go from there. Then we'll uh, we'll grab the uh, wiring harness and uh, put the uh, wiring back on it, and uh, button this bad boy up, and uh, we'll give it a go. Okay, okay, okay. So on this last one, I'm gonna show you exactly the uh, process that that uh, I'm doing, just so uh, so it's known. And uh, all we're gonna do. I'll take the screw, okay? Just a tiny, tiny bit. Like, I don't know if that's showing up correctly or not, but, I mean, you're talking just a tiny dot, right? All it is is a little insurance policy, okay? All these need to be facing in. All the terminals, okay? Need to be facing in. Okay. Do 
it in the next pattern. And we're going to tighten these bad boys down. Feel it pretty damn tight. Okay. Just noticed something. There's an issue here. Now we have more compounding problems <clears throat> because I don't know. I don't know now if this is wired correctly. Okay. All right. Get you somewhere where you can see decently. See where that's blacked out right there above where it says stereo. It says Yamaha. Okay. Okie dokie. So now, we're going to make some noise. And turn on low. things that uh, shouldn't touch. Try one thing. Okay. Yeah, you can see the speaker starts right here. Pulls over too. where the old logo is supposed to go. You with me? Hey, yeah. This isn't a Mesa cabinet. This is a Yamaha. Now you know what I know, and you can make a decision from there. If you don't mind the buzzing thing, then uh, more power to you. If you do, there are some really cheap alternatives that we can uh, do. We can cut this grill cloth completely off. Uh, just for a quick get rid of that noise uh, we can also take shine a real powerful light again and find out exactly where the board is and well I don't, I don't think that would work because it's still going to be loose around the speakers right because the real cloth is uh, too loose way, way loose <clears throat> or we can go the super long route Pull all the cabinet completely back apart. And then we can uh, put. Uh, <clears throat> what would you want to put? Probably a clear. Uh, a uh, clear. Uh, clear sealant. Across here, like for uh, air, air and water sealant, you know. Uh, and uh, then put the cabinet back together. You can do it that way. There's a few different ways you can do it. But if you're going to go to that extreme, <clears throat> to pull the cabinet completely apart, you might as well get your own logo or something, you know. And we can get rid of this too. Get rid of this grill cloth. Put your own grill cloth that you lock on there. But I will reassemble this with the uh, logo on there. And, uh, yeah. That is a nice logo. It doesn't belong to this cabinet. <laughs> Alright, dude. You have a good night. And I uh, hope I answered your questions and uh, we went through the entire thing best that I could. And it has nothing to do with the mechanics inside here. Nothing to do with the speakers. Uh, or the amp, for that matter. But, uh, yeah. That's where it's at. You have a good night. I'm out.